What's up, YouTube? It's been a long, long time, but I'm back. Okay, so today we're going to show you how to do a handstand video. Uh, you can no, basically six weeks to a handstand. This was featured in Train Magazine recently, so I thought, you know, just run over and you know put it to the test really. So this is the first exercise. This is basically pike push-ups. This is great for your shoulders, great for your overall balance, and I mean overall it was, you know, I actually quite felt that on my shoulders, and it helped with the progress of the handstand. You'll find out if it actually did lead me to be able to do handstand, but you know, the whole point is to be able to do handstand. Second one should really be doing this anyway. It's like bridges, held them for about 30 seconds, and I mean your lower back, your shoulders up a little bit. But yeah, the whole goal is to hold it and just strengthen your right back. So this is part two. I'd say part two A, purely because, I mean, it's only minor adjustment, well, advancement from the first part anyway. So this is part two A. You can be doing this from the start if you have a weaker lower back because you need your lower back to be able to hold the handstand. But I introduced this in week two. So I'm slowly falling down and rolling around like an idiot. And part 2B, headstand against the wall. This felt, to be honest, I'm not going to lie to you, I'd rather put a pillow there, but my head was hurting. <laughs> but yeah, so just a bit, just to hold a headstand. So in week two, you would introduce the bridge and the headstand, but also keep doing the pike push ups. So what you do is week by week, you add a technique. So I do it three times a week. Monday, Wednesday, Friday, I do. So in the second week, you'll be doing the pike push up, you'll be doing the bridge, and the headstand. I would say two sets of each 30 seconds for the headstand, 30 seconds for the bridge, and about 10 reps or until failure of the pike push up. See ya!